<laughs> Anyways, the point uh, here is that uh, you will become a better person, and the biggest thing is you will start inquiring for higher truths in life. Athato Brahma Jigyasa, that is the Vedanta Sutra. So we started with Vedanta Sutra and we are ending with the Vedanta Sutra. And you will develop a desire because in Srimad Bhagavatam, this is the last thing I will tell you. And if you want the summary, in short, at a later stage, you know, at an ultimate level these three things will happen to Srimad Bhagavatam says uh, the first thing is uh, the three symptoms of spiritual advancement many times people will ask you you know so I am doing mantras or I am doing remedies how to know it is working you know so three symptoms are there very clear cut rules no ambiguity no doubts no fanciful language you know oh, this will happen that will happen no these three is happening means it is working if it is not happening, it is not working. Okay. So the three things which happen is it compares a person with eating. Okay, so when somebody is eating food, what happens? If the food is good, you know he is liking it very much. Okay. So that means you will get taste and interest for doing spiritual activities. Number one, more and more when you eat a nice gulab jamun, what happens? You feel like give me more, you know, two, three, ten. Of course, we cannot eat after 20, 30, but we feel like eating more. Okay. So if you hear about the Rama and you feel, oh, tell me about Bhagavatam also, tell me about Mahabharata also. I will listen about that also. You know, why only one? And in fact, this uh, the one who is listening the Srimad Bhagavatam, Parikshit Maharaj, he exemplifies this. Because when Sukhdev Goswami tries to, you know, cut short. To check for Maharaj, no shortcut. Sukhdev Goswami is very intelligent. He's son of Vyasdev. He's speaking the Bhagavatam. So he uh, tells to Parikshit Maharaj that actually, you know, then Krishna came and this Brahma came and this Kaliya snake came and then this happened. Then so, uh, Parikshit Maharaj is like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I say, no, not like this. <laughs> no, no shortcut, you know, no shortcut. Tell me, explain to me in detail. And then Parikshit says that maybe you are thinking that I have not eaten, I have not taken any water or I did not sleep from six days. So maybe you are thinking I am tired, right? But no, I am not tired. I am fully awake. <laughs> I, am, I am always awake to listen to what Krishna did. Okay. So no shortcut. So your taste for performing spiritual activities will increase. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nobody will tell you, you will do it automatically. Hmm. Then what happens when the person is eating, 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 then his stomach goes, you know, he feels satisfied now. I have eaten everything. Chappan bhog thali is finished. Then what happens? You feel a deep sense of satisfaction inside that nothing can, nothing of this world can disturb you. Suppose you have eaten a full-fledged lunch, you know. And then somebody comes and says, you know, sir, you know, I have some nice samosa for you. Will you eat it? No, because you are full, right? You don't need it. So then any allurement of all these six planets, you know, Kama, Kroda, Lobama, anything comes, you will not be disturbed. You will become Samadarshi. You will see everything equally. You will not be disturbed. You will not have any enjoying mentality. And the third symptom. When you have eaten and you are digested, then what happens? You get strength in your body, right? <laughs> you are ready to break mountains. So what is that strength? That strength is a desire to spread spiritual knowledge. Okay. So that will also happen automatically. Nobody needs to tell you, you know, hey, we, we, can you go and speak about Gita? Can you go? Because sometimes people say, Are kaha se shlok nikalu, kaha se padhu, bahut time lagta, bahut mehnat lagta. That means they are doing it artificially. So that's the third thing. You eat, you feel satisfied, and then you go and do work. Work means you spread spiritual knowledge yourself. So these three are the ultimate, mm -hmm. ultimate results of Chanting these three mantras. Nobody who have done this, these results will manifest. And luckily, I get so many mails where people tell me that, oh, you know, now, now earlier I used to go with my friends, you know, to the bar to disco. I used to sleep at 3 a.m. Now the now the problem is I get up at 3 a.m. <laughs> And I'm doing mantras, I'm doing this, I'm doing RP, I'm doing so many things. So now paradigm shift. It is like 
180 degree turn. If this is happening, ultimately you know the 11th house is improved. Not the ascendant. Nothing ascendant is useless in Kalyuga. No use. All planets are gone in Kalyuga. The 11th house only saves you. And you will, you will by default stay in a place where there are spiritually uh, connected people. Okay, Then you will go and meet them. Then your spiritual life will be very happy. Otherwise, you will go and stay in some place. You know, maybe I don't know. I will not take names because people will be hurt. But you know, maybe you stay in a place where there's a lot of party going on. You know, and then that's how Rahu starts acting. You know, Rahu and Grahan, you know, Rahu. Rahu will take over you. And then uh, you will stop chanting these mantras. Okay. So that uh, half hen and egg philosophy, you know, should I become spiritual and do mantras or do mantras and become spiritual? Well, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, don't worry, just start. So okay. every day, one one round of these three mantras. If you start chanting, then you will see radical transformation in your life. And I gave you scientific method. There's no nonsense, no garbage, no philosophy. A practical thing I told you. This is a result. Like in science, there is you know experiment, there is inference, yes. So and there is you know result and all this. So this is the method. These are the results. Okay, and. Last question. If you feel that these results are not coming, then uh, maybe you are not doing it properly. Okay? Yes. Or maybe your horoscope is not allowing. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to do some remedies so that you know your horoscope permits you. You know your sun will permit you. The moon allows you. Your Jupiter will say, you know, "My dear uh, person, so, and so you know, I bless you. You can do these remedies." Okay, so. It is we who have the power to make these mantras effective and thereby experience radical transformation in your life. These three are radically transformative, I am telling you. Yeah. And there are many technicalities which I can go, which I will not go due to the interest of time of explaining what, how these mantras are linked to the uh, Adi Devatas, you know, Pratyadi Devatas and you know, Avataras and all these. But these are technical details. As you said, if somebody doesn't know astrology, they don't know anything, they are just beginners, then fine. Just do these three mantras. Three mantras. And uh, within and that's what I tell whoever I do readings. You know, I always anticipate a mail after six months. Right. Okay, and then they mail me and they say, you know, oh, I am uh, I have uh, left all eating non veg and meat and all this. You know, in fact there was one guy who messaged me. This is the last thing I will tell. He told me that he used to smoke very heavily. Okay, he was a very big chain smoker. It was like he was on the verge of death. Okay. And then he did the, these three mantras. And then what happened? One day, uh, gradually what happened? He completely left this habit okay, of smoking. But one day, something very interesting happened. His mother came to his room one day. <laughs> and this is how you know God uh, gives you indications that you know now actually transformation has happened. You know nature will indicate you. you know. <clears throat> so he said uh, his mother came and stayed with him for one week, and then she left. And the day she left, she called him the next day. She said, uh, "Actually, you know, I wanted to give uh, some donation to a Ganesh temple." Okay, but I could not due to some reason. So what I have done is I have opened uh, that drawer which is beside your uh, bed and in that drawer I have put those 100 rupees. Okay, so if you can please go and donate it to a Ganesh temple any day. Okay, right. and he wrote in a mail that this is the same place. This is the same drawer where I used to put my cigarettes. And oh, wow. now God is indicating me that now Ganesh is there. Cigarettes have disappeared now. Okay. Wow. So his mother could have kept it anywhere. Na? So many. Anywhere, yes. But she kept it there only. Of course, a skeptic may say, oh, drawers are places to keep things, you know, but we know that's a divine arrangement. And there are so many drawers in his room. Why did his mother keep it there only? Yes. Because Paramatma, Lord Vishnu, inside the heart, guided. Because Krishna says in the Gita, no, I am there in everybody's heart. Okay. Right. So he guided this lady that no, no, you put it there. 
because when he, your son will see that money there he will realize what has happened now earlier this place used to be filled with different kinds of varieties of cigarettes okay e cigarette f cigarette b cigarette c cigarette i don't know what cigarettes are but now it is ganesh it is ganesh or the donation money is there <laughs> and this is the same place now he keeps his uh, mala that beat which he chants with which he chants he keeps it there so every morning when he opens the drawer to take the beads he realizes you know i was this and now i am this so this is radical transformation this is what you will experience after you chant these mantras and if you feel that there is some change but you need more change then increase the dose increase the quality and the quantity okay and many times people have this question that when we are chanting these mantras do we need to visualize some devata or something like no nothing is required just when you are chanting just hear it hearing is most important because jupiter is also the ears the guru tells you when he gives you diksha he will tell you the mantra in the ears okay shravana yes so that uh, you should just hear the mantras okay no visualization nothing sometimes people print the mantra and they will keep it in front of them and then they will recite and they will hear that is fine that is known as tratak chanting tratak chanting can be done or uh, we can have a picture of krishna or ram or whatever well, well, there are many ways likhit japa also uh, even dr pai was telling me one day likhit japa is very powerful as well yeah and regarding this a lot of dedication yeah i remember the instance you know, there was uh, one place when i was in chennai <laughs> there was one temple which was there it's still there <laughs> there they have a program in the morning you know in a particular time and and if you are a regular attendee of that program and if you are in that vicinity and you are not sick or you are not under emergency and you are late for the program you have to write some mantra for 108 times that's a punishment okay take a pen and a paper and you have to write the punishment is so severe that you have to write the mantra suppose the program is at 5 and you reach at 5 2 then also you have to write and you have to write it during that time in the morning only so you will feel it more you know i could have chanted mantras but now you know i have to write mantras it's like a punishment now of course writing mantras is also great but suppose uh, the punishment would be okay okay write any time in the day and give it so then when you are just relaxing you are like oh let me write mantras no that's the punishment you have to write it there on there on the pinch too and you will not be late the next time wow yeah see discipline is very important yes such discipline without discipline there is no success in speech i think the lord satan is very much active in that temple <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 very much and uh, yeah that is all i had to say so summarizing these three mantras you can check and uh, no initiation is required for all these three no beej mantra nothing no complicated you, it does not matter what your surname is you are a brahmin vaishya chatriya shudra you are american german british whoever you are a man woman boy <laughs> doesn't matter okay you can chant this and uh, i don't know about your horoscope but maybe your life improves okay <laughs> horoscope yeah. maybe appears in the next life you know you know, all your planets will be exalted like lord ram's or krishna's chart you know, all exalted planets <laughs> yeah. beautiful so that, that is it from my side any queries comments or uh, any yeah i think there are going to be a lot of comments on your website there always is so but it was a beautiful opportunity for me because uh, baba ji ji i want to tell the audience as well not many channel i want to tell the viewers not many channel talk about all these questions especially in this brief so i really applaud i really appreciate your time because i know this is really uh, late for you wherever you are and um, i cannot put enough gratitude for your time so thank you so much because uh, these are the real fundamentals before even you think about astrology or you think about jyotish
So these things are very important. Yes, some people might say that um, it, we can talk about astrology and nakshatras or whatsoever, the Ashtak Vargas and this and that in some different uh, uh, videos. This topic was very important and um, I wanted to bring these topics because not many people talk about that. So, and I think um, you need or one need a lot of devotion and dedication to explain this subject. It's not an easy one line statement you can make when anyone is asking on a prarabdh karma or on a free will. And I think you have done a very good justice as you always do. So, but again, I cannot thank you Babaji ji for your time and effort. And see, this is the humility or the humbleness of a noble soul. Because even though he knows, I know that I only have a handful of subscribers. And it's not about the subscribership. It's about uh, giving your 100% even if you have 10 people around you. So even if one person uh, execute what he just said in the last 2-3 hours, whatever it is, you also get the leverage in your karmas. So do spread out the message, whatever we have captured here. Do spread it out to all of all the people you know who cares of uh, cares about astrology. And even if they don't care about astrology, what the free will is, how much free will we have? What are prarabdh karmas? What are sanchit karmas? Again, I'm saying repeatedly, not many people go in depth like Babaji went. So. I thank you, Baba Jiji. I cannot thank you enough. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for coming to my channel. It was, it is a very big opportunity. It's a big honor. And it's a pleasure always. It's a pleasure. Thank you also so much for inviting me and mm -hmm. uh, thinking that at least, uh, of course, I'm not qualified, but uh, whatever mm -hmm. I have heard from my gurus and uh, so many other uh, spiritual people that I met in the last 10 uh, years or 15 years. So whatever I had heard from them, uh, this was just a humble attempt to share some of this. Beautiful, beautiful. And you see, um, people who want to see, uh, again, uh, let me tell uh, the audience one more thing. Not many people know, those who know Baba Ji Ji, they already know that he also do readings and consultation and I will put the link on, on my channel. You can always visit him on Exotic Astrology. It's on the YouTube. It's very famous. and But not many people know he's very good and he's a kind of expert, I would say, on Nadi concept. It's, a, it's, it's not an easy way uh, to do the predictions and everything on the Nadi concept. So if you are interested into the Nadi concept, you should visit his page, his official page and uh, do book a reading or go to his website. He's, uh, he has one of those channels who's posting things other than astrology. See, that's what uh, my teacher says. Following astrology is good, but there is another level to astrology. Making make it as a stepping stone so that you can go to the higher realm. That is the real motive of astrology. Yes. Not about predicting all the time. So, um, so I will put the link uh, for your uh, channel and for the consultation page. So, thank you, Baba Ji Ji, again, and uh, we shall see you again. Yes, yes, and we, uh, you also have to come again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only know very little about nakshatras, so I can only talk about that. See, that's my problem. You have talked, you are talking and you will also talk. <laughs> so today I thought I should become a Shravana and hear the beautiful thoughts and wisdom I was getting from your side. So, thank you. Yeah, ne next time I will be on the other side. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much. And uh, wish, uh, I hope everything is fine with you. So see you again. Okay, very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you to all the viewers for watching. It's Thank been you. three hours almost. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.